update you guys today with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, so stay tuned. The girl has been so busy. I have been cleaning toilets, tubs, showers, mopping, sweeping, vacuuming, washing clothes, washing dishes, cooking food, um, Christmas shopping. You know, basically I was doing the things that these Real Housewives of Atlanta just don't do. So, you know, guys, forgive me for this review being so late, please. But it's better late than never, right? Um, but yeah, if there are going to be a, um... The Real Housewives of Dallas, trust with a plus, I will sign up for it because obviously you do not need to be rich because these bitches on the Real Housewives of Atlanta are losing their houses, they're losing their cars, and they're buying bedroom sets from a damn whore on a parking lot of a burger joint. So obviously you don't need any money. So let's get right on into the review. First of all, we're going to start off with Kim. Kim... Bitch, you need to give it a fucking break. Sit your ass down some goddamn well. Bitch, you are not, I repeat, not an award vocalist. You are not Mariah Carey to have all these diva-like demands. Singing, if that's what you want to call it, singing is your hobby. Hoeing is your occupation. Now, you mean to tell me you can't snap your fingers to a damn beat. You can't rock your hips side to side to a damn beat. But you could fucking flip on a pole and bust it open on a damn stage. Bitch, you are not trying. You are not trying at all. You are not what I will call a real deal singer. I don't recall seeing a video on BET, MTV, Centric, VH1, or any other music video channel at all. I don't even recall seeing you doing a video on YouTube, to be quite honest, okay? Like I said, girl, you need to give it a break. And it's not that she can't do it, it's that she don't want to do it. Because if you can get on your knees and suck a married man, sweetheart, you should have no shame of getting on the stage, snapping your fingers to a beat, rocking your hips back and forth to a damn beat, okay? She, she just don't want to do it. Like Candace said, she's doing these 10, 15 minute rehearsals and calling it a day, sweetheart, that's not going to get you anywhere, okay? Um, as far as Candy, Candy, sweetheart, you need to hang it up. Your better days are long, long behind you. You can sing, and I'm not being a hater because I know there are a lot of Candy fans, and I'm a fan of Candy as well, back in her escape days. But as far as her being on her own right now, no. And I think her album is out, and I don't really have any anticipation on even previewing the album, to be honest with you guys. She just needs to stick to what she can do, well, what she does best, which is writing songs for other people. That's it. Um, let's see. Nene and Cynthia, I was very fearful for the safety of Nene. Now, Nene is a big girl, and I'm pretty sure she can defend herself, but when you're around someone that is crazy, that's just totally different because crazy people have a different type of strength. Okay, um, well, Nene and Cynthia went to um, a museum, and out the blue, you know, Cynthia was like, I'm going to get married under that dinosaur. This is where the wedding is going to take place. The ceremony will be held under this dinosaur. And my mouth dropped. I was like, bitch, you are really crazy. First of all, last week you gave this bitch a fucking candle and a friendship contract. Now you want to get married under a dinosaur. What is wrong with you? She's talking about, oh, I want to do something that's different. Like... I, I don't want to be traditional. Bitch, there are millions of other things that you can do that is non-traditional. Why get married under a dinosaur? What does that signify? You're crazy. Bravo just dropped this bitch. Lifetime Movie Network. Create a movie for this bitch. She is perfect for the part. Okay? This bitch is really crazy. And did y'all see how her facial expressions changed when Cynthia, when Nene told Cynthia... Well, I let Kim see the contract and she thinks you're crazy. I mean, that girl looked like she wanted to break Nene fucking face. What was up with the fucking, the, the, the head, the scarf, the sundress? What was up with that shit? Girl, oh. 
That bitch is crazy. Bottom line. The bitch is crazy. Moving along. Um, let's see. Sheree. I was very worried about the spending that Sheree was going to do in the furniture store. Meaning, you know, I, I, I didn't know how much she was trying to spend because her daughter was with her and she was like, Mommy, I want this $10,000 painting. And I'm like, girl, your mama don't have no money for that. Your mama losing her house. She losing that Ashton Martin. Your mama don't have no money for that shit. And, um, you know, Sheree was going around talking about, no, no, I don't want this. I don't want this. And back in my mind, I was like, she's looking for that living room set that you get, you know, the sofa and love seat for $3.49. That's what she's looking for. But she really surprised me when she spent $7,400. She got her daughter the dinette set. She got her daughter the sofa some accessories and stuff like that for our house and I was very proud of Sheree. Um, I don't know if she paid the $7,400 you know really upfront because you know this shit is edited. I don't know if she paid a, uh, did a down payment or if she really did pay the $7,400 but girl mm, I don't know. As far as her daughter's boyfriend that's what I'm thinking about right now. <sighs> this is something for you guys to tell me. And I'm going to give y'all a couple of seconds to think about that. And I want, you to got, I want you guys to post this down below in the comment section. Can you really, really, really see Sheree's daughter, her name is Tiara. Can you see Tiara's boyfriend actually being romantic with a female? Like I said, I'm going to give y'all guys a couple of seconds. Post your comments down below. Just let me know. The answer is no, right? That boy is trade, okay? No ands, ifs, buts, what ifs, possibly could be. He is, okay? He is. But, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that's her roommate. She's just lying to her mom and telling her mom it's her boyfriend when that could be really her roommate. I don't know, but, yeah, he he's not straight. Nene, as far as Nene with her, um... Getting a, a celebrity to do her interview with. She got Jermaine Dupri. And I'm very happy for her. But according to the previews for the next uh, episode. She didn't really do good on the um, interview part. Or whatever. Um, but you know. We're going to focus on her. You know basically she got her celebrity to do her interview with. Um, and I'm very proud of her. You know she's trying to do it. Trying to make money to take care of her kids. And her household and stuff like that. The only thing she has to do now is. Pack up that gray hair, old, bitter bitch that's living in her basement and ship his ass off far, far, far away to her nursing home in Idaho some goddamn well and keep it pushing, okay? That's what she need to do. Phaedra and Kim. Okay, they all were at the spa, okay? And this is where shit really went down. Um, uh, Phaedra went off on... Kim, telling Kim, you know, I didn't tell, I wasn't talking about the fact that Big Papa is going through foreclosure because that's none of my business. And you know, Kim came back, she attacked back. I mean, they were going back and forth or whatever. But for uh, Pharrell, Phaedra, you really honestly thought that no one was talking about your ass. Girl, Google, type in in the search engine of YouTube. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 3 and Trust with a Plus, you will see many videos where many people are talking about the fact that you are lying, talking about you are six months pregnant with an eight-pound baby in your belly. Girl, boo. Okay? Cynthia with the whole bachelorette party. Phaedra told Cynthia, girl, I know a stripper. They can give head to himself. I was like, ew, that is so nasty. Girl, what? Phaedra, just shut up. The rest of the season, just shut your ass up because the more you talk, the stupid, the more stupid you sound, okay? Um, this episode was boring as many of the other episodes were quite boring, but there were some things going here and there. Um, but like I said, yeah, it was a mess. So like I said, you guys, um, that is my review of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sorry, guys, it couldn't be a little longer, but ugh, it's been boring this season. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will agree. Bye.